What's up everybody, Nadia and Sans here for another very exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. So a lot of you have been asking me why I use Adobe Premiere and like the Adobe Creative Suite over Final Cut and DaVinci and Sony Vegas and those kind of programs. And the simplest answer I can give you is because of Adobe Dynamic Link. Adobe Dynamic Link basically makes it so I can use After Effects, Premiere and Photoshop all at the same time and they all integrate together. And to my knowledge, no other video editing application has that kind of integration with other programs. So that's like one of the main reasons why I use Adobe Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop all together because they just work really well together. You know what I'm saying? So today I'm gonna to show you guys how Photoshop and After Effects get integrated into my Adobe workflow. So you can do motion graphics on the fly, graphics and text on the fly, and not have to worry about Premiere and dealing with the ins and outs and it can kind of be confusing. All right, open up Adobe Premiere. We're starting there. Let's jump in. All right, Premiere is open and on my timeline, I've got a nice slow motion clip of my buddy Jared riding his bike down the Santa Monica Beach boardwalk. Now, say I wanted to add a title to this, I could do an animated title and use After Effects or I could do a static title and use Photoshop. Yes, I'm telling you, I like to use Photoshop for my titles and After Effects for my motion titles because the title tool in Premiere is clunky. Nobody likes the new one. It doesn't work right. You have to click on too many things and being able to center, so it's like even centering your title in Premiere using the title tool is a pain in the ass now. So nobody likes dealing with that. So today we're going to do some static titles in Photoshop and motion titles in After Effects. And I'm going to show you guys how Dynamic Link works with my workflow. Let's open up Photoshop. All right. In Photoshop, we're just going to create a new composition that is 1920 by 1080. And I'm just going to write some text in here. All right. Brilliant. Santa Monica, California. We'll center it up with the composition and we're going to turn the background off and I'm going to double click over here and make this text white. Then just save it as a Photoshop document and click save. Then we're going to come back over into Premiere and we're going to import that Photoshop document into our project. And if we click back over into Premiere, it'll say that it's a Photoshop document. Do you want to import these layers? Hit OK. And then what I do is now drop this onto the top of my video and pull it out. And now I have a nice little title. We can drop the opacity down of this video underneath it. And now we have a nice title. And the reason I like to use Photoshop for static titles is it's super easy to change and manipulate inside of Premiere by just using Photoshop itself. So check this out. I'm going to go back into Photoshop and I'm just going to grab this text and I'm going to change the font. There you go. Corbell. That's a nice looking font. I'm just going to save the Photoshop document just as is. And then when I click back over into Premiere, it automatically updates on my timeline and I didn't have to do anything. And as you know, the title tool in Premiere is just not very fun to work with. It's really hard to do certain things and it's really frustrating if your text gets too big and you try to scale it down, it'll like cut off half of it sometimes. You don't need to be dealing with that. If you have Photoshop, use the capabilities of Photoshop and Premiere integration with Adobe Dynamic Link. We can change the color. We can change the font size, the font text, anything, and it will automatically update on our timeline in Premiere, which is super awesome. But let's take it one step further. You want to do an animated title because you're bold and you like to do some animation in your edits. We can do that too, very simply. Check it out. We'll delete this title out of here. And what I recommend doing for the Adobe Dynamic Link After Effects thing is actually duplicating the video layer by holding down Alt and clicking and dragging on top of itself, and then right clicking on the second video that you make and go to this little button up here, replace with After Effects Composition. Now this will only work if you have Adobe Creative Cloud CC. If you're using CS6 or CS5, I don't think this integration was quite there yet, but if you have CC, you should have a replace with After Effects composition. So let's click on that button and it will automatically open up After Effects and it will ask you to save your project. So go to where you want the project to be saved and we're gonna call this title, click save. Now Premiere will automatically integrate that video into the project. And now we can start doing our title animation. So if I wanted to do the same thing here and we'll just align this with the center of the comp, there you go. And what I'll do is create a new solid, make it red, there you go. Put it right underneath my text like that. And then we'll come down here to our title. I'm gonna add a position keyframe. We'll go 16 frames over, add another position keyframe, go back to our first one and just drop it below the red solid. And then we're gonna set this title layer to look at this solid as a mask. So we're gonna come down here to toggle switch modes and we're gonna set the track mat to inverted map. And now what that's doing is it's basically masking the text behind the fake solid so you don't actually see the solid, but it's using it as a mask. And now I've just made a very short and very quick animated title. And it's super easy if I wanted to grab these keyframes and just pull it back to like eight keyframes instead of 16, I can do that and I can manipulate my animated title here. And then what I'll do is just turn off this video layer underneath, hit save, 
and then come over into Premiere. And now my title has been animated there. And the reason I turned off the video layer is because you're gonna wanna preserve the video underneath. And if I get rid of the video underneath, it's just the animated title. But you're basically just using the video in the first place to get over into After Effects as like a placeholder so that you can import something that's the same length of your clip. So the clip that I'm using, it's the same length. I just disable it in After Effects and then I have a placeholder for myself and I can do an animated title. So if I wanted to actually come in here and say, you know what, I don't like this clip. I kind of want this clip here of him making a goofy face. I can now delete this video out from underneath that, pull this down here, set the speed to 20% and set my opacity down to 40 as well. And now I have this nice little animated title with a different video clip in there. And I've used Adobe Dynamic Link to help make my workflow much simpler. And it works exactly the same. If I click back over into After Effects, I can come in here and I can change out the font of this. So we'll make this, uh, I don't know, whatever this is. Cool, great. Let's make sure that we align it with the center of the comp and I'll click save. And then I can click back over into Premiere and it automatically updates on my timeline. Guys, this is the most simple and effective way to kind of carry on your workflow through multiple applications. And I have never used Sony Vegas before, but nobody's ever said, oh, you know that you can do that with Sony Vegas? You know you can do that with Final Cut? No, nobody's ever told me that. But with Adobe products and Adobe Premiere and After Effects and Photoshop, they work well together. They they integrate seamlessly into your workflow so that you're wasting less time and you're able to use more powerful tools in a completely separate program and still do what you're trying to do in Premiere, which I think is like the number one selling point of using Premiere and After Effects and Photoshop, the whole Adobe Creative Suite. Uh, besides the fact that it's just built really well and works really well, it also integrates with other programs in the Creative Suite. And I think that's something really unique to Adobe and something that should help everybody out there who's a video editor or getting into editing or motion graphics because it all just works. So if you didn't know about Adobe Dynamic Link or you're not really familiar with it or you've seen the button but you haven't clicked on it, hopefully this video will prompt you to click on it and start doing some stuff in After Effects and Photoshop and bring it down to your timeline and feel good about doing it. And if you ever need to update, you can just go into the After Effects comp, make an update or open up the Photoshop doc, make an update and it will automatically update on your timeline. You don't need to re-import. You don't need to lay it back down on the timeline. There's like, you're cutting out a lot of time and frustration in that workflow process. And to me, that's just like, you can't beat that. Well, thank you so much for watching this video a nice short sweet and simple one this week make sure you smash that subscribe button and also check out the last video that you missed weekly videos that learn how to edit stuff hey if you want to ask me a question hit me up on social media at naughty and sans twitter and instagram i'm trying to answer everybody's questions i have a lot in my inbox right now but i will get to you i promise subscribe check out the last video and i'll see you next time